Here's how to have a player or sentry drop items once you knock it out. For this video, I already have two things set up. One, I have a spawn pad and I have a inventory spawner that gives you an item right when you log in and spawn into the game. The two devices that we're going to work with for this video are the sentry as well as the knockout. So if you had the devices and type in sentry, you can click on it. It's an AI enemy that will attempt to knock out other players. I'm not going to go into full detail about how sentries work. However, though, you can really discover this on your own. There's difficulty, health, it tells you how often do they respawn in. So like for no way out uh, or one way out, you can change how fast they come back into the game. That way you can get the items that they drop faster. The second item that we're gonna need is the, the knockout manager. If you click on that, you can drop it down anywhere you want on the map. Once you have the knockout manager, you can click on it and it has a couple different things. It gives you an option for what uh, the knockout will work with. Is it gonna be a player or a sentry? If you are creating a PvP game, so player versus player, then you want to have it set to player. If you're having a game like uh, the zombie game where you run through with your classmates and knock out the AI or the sentries, you want to change it to sentry. Completely up to you though. For the sake of this video, we are going to have it be a sentry. The next step is to go to items. It's going to ask you, hey, do you want to grant an item whenever you knock out this sentry or player? Currently, it's always des default set to no. I'm going to change it to yes, and now it's going to give us a few more options. It's going to ask you what item do you want to grant whenever you get knocked out. Again, it has the same listing as it does for the um, vending machine and item spawner in the prior videos that I've made. For this one, we're going to choose cash. Again, it's going to ask you how much you want to give out. For this example, we'll choose 21. It's going to even give you the option of how do you want it to be dropped? Do you want it to go right to your inventory so you don't have to hover over it and click? You can make it drop on the player. You can make it drop on the person that was knocked out. There's a lot of variety that you can choose with this. For this example, though, we're going to have it drop on the knocked out player. The last thing to consider is the drop chance. Now, if you keep it as no, no matter what, it's going to drop or it's going to go into your inventory. If you go to yes, it's gonna ask you the percentage chance that you want to have it be dropped. If it's a really rare drop, then drop the percentage down. You can make it 25%. The higher the percentage, the more likely it is going to be dropped from that character when you knock it out. Uh, the highest that it can go is 99%. So now that we have those two things set up, if we start our game, I start launching the snowball launcher and there you have it. It drops the money, I can run over to it and I can pick up the cash. Again, you can make it go right to your inventory, just change it in the settings. There you have it, that's how you use the Sentry and the Knockout Manager.